Hi, it's me again, back with another video. This video is about the Lenovo ThinkPad X121e. This particular model has a an 8 gigabyte configuration of RAM with an AMD dual core, two threads processor, and an SSD drive. It also has a display with the resolution of 1366 by 768 pixels. It's a 12 inch model. And as you can see here, it's fairly thin. On the side here, we have a VGA port, an HDMI port, a USB, a LAN port, and a headphone jack. On the front, no ports at all. On the right side, we have a USB port, another USB port, a power plug, and a Kensington lock. And on the back of the PC, there is there are no ports here and if we just move the pc back right now i have windows 11 on it i think it runs pretty okay i have stripped down this windows 11 version to run as light as absolutely possible because this is a computer that needs it the cpu is not very fast the battery is pretty okay it has like two three maybe four hours of battery um but yeah um if you don't have to run windows 11 on this i would probably try installing like windows xp vista 7 8 whatever uh, any light um, operating system, maybe even try uh, Linux, some light Linux distros, maybe Linux Mint, maybe, um, yeah, just any light operating system because this is a, not a multitasking powerful laptop, but this can be useful if you just want a laptop for some secondary light tasks such as typing and yeah um it does watching youtube videos okay i would say um on a lower resolution maybe 480p uh, 720p it will probably start lacking a little bit so just keep that in mind maybe you can get some more performance out of the machine by installing another operating system. I think maybe, I don't, I'm not sure if Windows 11 runs, um, gives this machine its best potential because of some driver compatibility. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you have this computer and what system you have put on it and what uh, what is your general experience. Do you have any like um, issues with it um, performance wise? But yeah, as a retro PC with uh, a lot of old games installed as you can see here i have red alert i have age of empires you know all of those old games it will just run absolutely without any problems at all so it all it always depends on what you are trying to do with the machine i would not recommend using this pc for um, primary uh, work like um, 
a primary laptop because it's easy to stumble upon uh, tasks that require that require a little bit extra that this machine does not handle but again as a secondary pc doing light tasks it can probably do a lot of great things I will try installing Windows XP, you know, just for fun and see how the system will perform with Windows XP drivers. Um, but yeah, are you considering this model yourself or have you maybe looked into the Lenovo ThinkPad 230? That is also a smaller 12 inch laptop, but that model just comes with um some faster processors but also it the price is a little heavier on that model this model was very cheap i gave like i would say 30 dollars so it's a very cheap laptop the best thing i would say about this computer is Probably the keyboard that surprised me the most because, well, as you can see here, it has some okay key travel and, well, it just feels good timing on this keyboard. The traveling across the keys, um, pressing down keys uh, has a tactile, great feel to it. Um, yeah. Probably one of the best laptop keyboards I have um, tried so far. So yeah, fire up the comment section and share your experiences with this nice little machine. And please check out my other videos and subscribe for more stuff like this. Thanks and bye.